right. until now. I have nothing. Maybe a cup of lucky charms. <sighs> well, if you need I'm... to eat in the middle of the session, then be my guest. Just as long as it's not too loud. You know what I'm depressed about? That I didn't keep up the gag of ordering Chinese. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. Also, um, y you can still hear the game, right? Yes. Okay, good. Alright, uh, we're back. So, um, uh, we were trying to get through the dark woods the complete wrong way. Uh, what you're supposed to do? Uh, um, huh? Skull woods. Skull woods, yeah. Um, uh, what you're supposed to do is, um, go through here and, um, go around uh, the lost woods and, um, just go down a section to where you can go back to the dark world. I think it's just down here. Yeah, here we go. Because uh, for some reason I was in the mindset that I need to break the uh, black rock, but uh, you don't need to. Hey! Uh, yeah, no, 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 you gotta use a net. Yeah, we, yeah, we definitely need one. Oh, wow, that was easy. Yep, that's all we needed to do. We, uh, we're trying... We, uh... We're making things a lot more complicated than they need to be, needed to be. I'm gonna check for something else first. You know, if I saw leaves that were purple, I would literally run in terror. I'm gonna check for something else because I I think if if there's a certain guy down here somewhere, uh, we can actually get a sword upgrade. Yeah, I I, I looked at uh, a few videos. Um, after the last session, just to see, just to uh, know what we're actually doing. I think it's this. Okay, no, we, we need to have like a uh, stronger crab, so we can't do that. Right. So, dungeon free. Uh, let's do. Well, f uh, Dark World dungeon free anyway. You should go back to the forest and. No. Sections. Like, you need to make your way over to where the nine bushes, where there are nine bushes, yeah. arranged in a tree by tree pattern. Those trees always catch me off guard. Only like just some big Deku shrubs. Yeah. <laughs> Finally at Skull Woods. So what I saw of this dungeon, it looks kind of confusing. Because it's like, it's part overworld, part actual dungeon. Yeah. And once again, our son I first heard in Brawl. Yeah, yeah, I remember hearing this in Brawl. Brawl had a really good soundtrack for the record. All the Smash Bros. games have good soundtracks. Yeah. What do you think is it has the best, like, uh, overall? Mm. I haven't listened to the entirety of 3DS and Wii U, so I guess I have to discount those for the time being. Mm. They're all good for their own. They're all. They could all be the best in their own right. Like Smash 64 has the. Uh, <laughs> Smash 64 is the basics, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. That's basically what I can say. Right? It's nice. It's yeah. It's an N64 game. That sounds like an N64 game. I do really like Melee's. Um, like a lot of the remixes start are really good in that. But um, I think, I think overall, like I think Brawl ha probably has the best in terms of like having good remixes and good um, original pieces. Um, Cause I, yeah. Cause I'm thinking like Smash Four has some probably has some of the best remixes, but I f I don't feel like the choices were as good as Brawl, and I and like the uh, tracks they that uh, they they uh, decided to use um, aren't, weren't always the best choices. Like having like five million versions of a uh, DK Island Swing or whatever it is. Like, jungle hijinks. Yeah. 
that uh, it has some good, really good remixes, but the choices could have been better. So um, where, uh, I'm kind of lost. A, find a nine bushes that are arranged in a three by three pattern. They should be on the left, right, no, on the right of two bone structures oh. that are next to each other. I didn't think I could go through that. Uh, go down those two bone structures. I'm gonna find a way over there. No, no, I meant the one to the right. The one over there? To the right. That? Oh, I didn't notice that the bush pattern was actually blocking you. Yeah, I'm trying to find a way over there. Oh, yes, my dogs are returning for commentary today. Indeed. Were you, you saying, going to say something about the Smash soundtracks? Oh, yes. The Smash 4 is good, and because Hal's composers are always good. Yeah. Um, Melee is holds a special place in my heart because it's pretty much the first one I really paid attention to, and it's basically the first time a lot of Nintendo themes got to be fully orchestrated. Yeah. Like, I still love, I still love the temple theme from Zelda Two. Yes, yeah, uh, one of the standouts for me. Brawl is good. No, Brawl is excellent. It's probably got the yeah. best ratio of new remixes to imports. Yeah. I go back and forth between melee, melee and brawl. Hmm. Brawl has had more, so like, I guess give it the edge at the end of the day. Yeah, but I still do like a lot of the melee ones. I, r I get a kick out of stuff like Icicle Mountain. <sighs> Icicle Mountain is it's beautiful. Uh, at least they brought back that back in Smash 4. Uh, didn't bring them back the actual uh, characters, but still. They're there in spirit. Ow. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, everything's going fine. Just checking. Uh, is there like a route we can take with this? They don't really say how to get <coughs> to the nine bushes. It's... Yeah, because I didn't see like. The uh... area of the nine bushes has five skulls around it. Mm. Because there has to be something you have to do up here. So I see areas that I need to get to, but... Is there something to do with this? These things? No, no, no. It'll be five skulls, and they won't be... Uh, it's in the dark, foggy area, so... Hmm. This is what confuses me, because like, we go out here, we're just in the hub world again. Or the, uh, Hyrule Field or whatever. I don't think we need to be around here. Uh, I kinda need this, to be honest. I'll get one more, just in case. This game now makes me wonder what a sprite-based Mario RPG on Super NES would have looked like. Have you played uh, Mario RPG? Uh, nope. Yeah, that's a game I need to play. Because I heard it's really good. Yeah, I'm just going way away from the area at this point. I'm confused. Yeah, this isn't it. This is a bit, like, 
they don't really properly explain this, so it's like... It's, I think I'm in a different area than before. Yeah, this might... We might be onto something now. There it is. This? In here? The bushes. That's the area of the bushes. Okay. Oh. Head, hmm. head northwest following the pathway. Oh. Well, I'm in here now, so... Was I supposed Fair to come to in? Leave. Was I supposed to come in here later? Yes. Oh. Hmm. Not really sure how to get out, so we might as well like do what we can, I guess. Uh, which is not a lot, apparently. Oh, let's see. Oh, we got the map. <laughs> uh, that might that might actually be useful. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm, I think you you broke sequence from the guides. This might be a bit weird. Okay, let me just. Okay, so just stop here then. Ow. Wait, how'd you get out? Uh, it, that was just an exit. Oh. All right, go back to where the nine bushes were. Yeah. And then. Head, head northwest. Head northwest following the pathway and then cut back southward. So wait, this way? Yeah, and then head back down. Oh, uh, okay, I was from the other. And enter the dungeon at the skull mouth. Okay. I, I confused east to. for, for west. Oh my goodness. Wall masters. Well, you can kill those. Yeah, you can kill wall, wall masters. I assume those things are like instant death and occurring of time. Yeah. They just send you back to like the star of the room or something. Speaking of, speaking of occurring of time, I'm gonna look forward to screaming at the redeads. Huh? Speaking of occurring of time, I'm gonna look forward to screaming at the redeads. You want to be in that playthrough as well? Yeah, do you have room? Uh, yeah, probably. It's probably not something I'm gonna get to for a while though. Let's see. With the skull pot, there's the center of the room. Going to pull the statue from the right side on the room of the room onto the switch. Okay, I've done that. How do I get over there though? Wait. Oh. Ah! I think I can pull it the other way. Yeah, pull it upwards. Yeah. They don't really give you much of a warning for the wall master. It just kind of pops down. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, that, that, is, that is nonsense. That was kind of scary. Come on. Grab the thing. Why is it not working? Uh, it's like, it looks like it's clipping. Yeah. Like, Link is, like, confused right now. Can you push it back down? I'm just been moving forward right now. I might, I think I need to just get grabbed because I think I screwed this up. Ah! So where is it going to take me? Okay, good. Not too bad. So they don't even hurt you? Uh, I think it probably did, but I don't didn't see it. We have short term memory. <laughs> okay. How do, how did it? What, what, from what you've seen of like the 3D Zelda's, like what what uh, do you think about trying them? Oh, I'd play them if I just played more games. <laughs> what uh, one I... sticks out to you the most? Um, the George Mask for making me spoil my pants. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ocarina of Time is Ocarina of Time, so I have, I'm obligated to try it. Um. 
Oh one waker's pretty. Yeah. What's going on? Okay, okay there, there we go. go. That was being a bit weird. Oh my. Ow. Wait, I think that's an actual death. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, where am I going? Okay. I need to remember. Best I can't just. Best to use. Huh? Just stop. Um, where are you? Are you in wait, is the same room or the? It's the same room we were in, yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. See, I'm so used to just using letting the fairy just revive me, so. I believe that makes it the first death of this last play that wasn't negated immediately. I feel I think we may have uh, died before when Jason was around. I don't remember. Because I remember doing- I remember dying to a crab at one point. I'm just gonna use this now. I'm just scared. Bombs. We have another one, so... Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness, it takes us back here. Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Oh wow. Okay, the red broom rang's a lot more useful than I thought it was. <sighs> yeah. What's your opinion on the wall masters? Wait, Scrappy? You, you're re really quiet all of a sudden. I had my mic muted because the dogs keep on barking. Oh. Man, this is kind of annoying. And that's my thoughts on Wall, wall Masters. <laughs> I uh, just swipe them. At least they're not terrifying in this game. Because like, in Ocarina of Time, there's a there's a shadow that goes over you and a like a really creepy sound. I don't really know how to describe it. It just goes woo in this game. Uh. All right. <laughs> nope, not happening again. Ow. Uh. Gotta be careful. What the heck is that? Is that uh, oh, it's gone. Oh. Now. It's gone now, Enemy. so I guess. Right. Oh, nice. Got that early. Just let a wall master capture you or use the magic mirror. Oh, what's in this wall? Um, what's this thing? Uh, hearts. Oh, don't really need that. Where's it gonna send me? Okay, just over here. Alright, um, let's see. Whoa! Oh, yes. Exit, exit the dungeon and head back northward. Okay. Go back to where the bushes are and fall down into the hole you found earlier. Oh, okay.
There's a crack, crack to wall on the left side of the room. Go ahead and use the bomb. All right. Let's see. There are some large holes in the room. If Link walks along the right wall, and then the south wall, he can avoid them. Oh, well, that's clever. I feel like that's uh, not intentional. Walk to the center of the room and pull the lever, causing the wall below to explode. Oh, wow, what? <laughs> oh, I guess it is intentional. Okay. Oh my goodness. Mini versions of our favorite boss. Ah. Ooh, we found a fire rod. Yay! Pull up the hook shot and use it to reach the either of the two statues in the south end of the room. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I too also forgot to switch stop switch hook shot with the thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then there's an exit through uh, south and exit. Oh. Oh. Alright, where are we now? Let's see. Once again, walk northwest down the pathway, enter the skull mouth as you did to enter. They just start the dungeon. Oh, okay. Interesting backtracking of this one. Yeah. This is a very weird dungeon. It's... It's fun. I think it's interesting. It's interesting, yeah. Not really... Not frustrating backtracking, at least. Yeah. Lift the pot in the top left part of the room to grab a small key. Wait, in the... Uh, this first room? Uh, yes. Wait. No, 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 the room that you went into. Oh. Wait. Uh... This one, maybe? Yes, that one. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Uh, don't use... Don't use those keys for the door. Exit, oh. exit the door to the south. Okay. Back outside, walk up the path on the left side, and you'll see a strange looking picture structure. Pull up the fire rod and light up the front of what looks like a nose. Ah, I see. I, I think we've got like one item left. So, uh, uh, two. two I, like two items or something like that. Not carrying like hard pieces. I want hearts. This is the final part of the dungeon. Oh, really? Already? Well, final portion, I'm pretty much uh, backtracking. <clears throat> boom. Just head north. Alright. Oh, jeez. Right, or stuff will change the arrangement of the holes on the ground. Yeah. You can cut diagonal corners and will carefully walk over the edges of the holes if you'd like, but it is risky. Otherwise, just make your way around the room. Oh my goodness, I forgot about you. That is kind of funny. Okay, you don't lose any health. That's good. I'm just gonna nuke all the enemies at this point. I hope this works. Uh, oh my oh, god. Oh wow. Yay! Burn. Nice. Burn, baby, burn. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right. Uh, I should have saved that actually. Nice. Ah! Right. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Number of Gibdos, I guess that's what they're called. Mm. Whee! There's some extra magic underneath the pots on the right side of the room. 
In order to progress, Link will need to light the four torches in the room. Oh. Well, I can use a fire rod, actually. This is cool. I think it's the same amount of magic as the lamp. As the lamp. I don't. I'm Wait, why does the lamp require magic? I don't know, but you know. Cause like you start with a magic meter, so I guess it kind of has to be there. Wait, what? Oh my goodness, what's going? On? Okay. Flash the wall at the north end of the room to reveal a passage to the next room. Okay. Oh, it's oh. Be there. Nice. I'm kind of worried at the moment. Beat them all. Grab the key and head right. Head right screen. Who needs combat when you have this? Oh, I didn't- Oh! Hey, a fairy. Nice, I needed that. Should've got those arrows too. Oh no, you're full. Alright, let's see. Once you're ready, drop down and take on a dungeon boss, Mocula. Oh, you have to drop down here. Uh, yeah. Okay. That was Remember really short. Cool. Right, how do I find this guy? <laughs> Mocula will shoot out beams of fire in three directions. These can be heartful, harmful, each doing two hearts of damage. Also, contact damage, of course, two hearts. Link can harm Modula in a variety of ways. The most common method is to use a fire rod, which takes eight hits to defeat Modula. Oh, I did a lot of. Uh... Oh wow, he's already dead. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, I did a what bunch. I uh, hit him with a fire rod a, a few times, and then I just swiped him. Wow. That was kind of anticlimactic. Whatever. I'm not gonna look look like get forced in the mouth. <laughs> oh, that's... Enough, it's taking an hour to defeat do every dungeon. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Got the third um uh thingy. Forgot what they were even called. Made it. Yeah. Calamity Ganon, what? Yep, this is, again, this is a timeline where the hero f uh, fell. That was so. a prequel. Hmm? I don't even know the old timeline, that was supposed to be one of the earliest games. The, in terms of, like, release, yeah, but, like, this is technically a sequel to Ocarina of Time. In, um, the dark, uh, future or whatever. Where the, uh, Link died and Ganondorf got the Triforce. You know, I still think that Nintendo just made that time to screw up everyone. Probably. Some of it, a lot of it does make sense though when you like think about it, honestly. Like, uh, is there anything we can do before we go to Dungeon 4? Just a moment. Alright. Dogs are horrific. I'm just gonna go back to the light world so I know where to na how to navigate this place. What if you had to stay here, though? Yeah. Uh, let's see. The next dungeon is found at the west end of the dark world in the village of Out. Oh, yeah, it's that dungeon. Yeah, yeah. There are no, no, I have to get there, so it's fine. Even with the fire rod, there are no additional side quests that have become available, so we can head straight to the next dungeon. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, All right, good. Cool. Should be able to get quite a bit of stuff done today, then. What time is it? 11.30 in your area. Okay. Coolio. So, uh, it was like... Around here, I think. Yep. Whew. Uh, right, we got some breathing room for the time being. Yep, we got some breathing room. 
And I know one thing you can do after this dungeon, so there's that. Why does it look like Link always takes damage as soon as he enters the dark world? Yeah! Uh. Oh, oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Alright, so I already know where the dungeon is, so let's just go. Okay. 